and I have been working on the windmill. Um, there's the there's the alternator mounted inside the hub. There's the front of it. Now I have to make this hole bigger, right here. This hole has to be bigger, and I'm gonna have to put a bushing in it because when I go to put the the props on there, now this is just a pulley that came off of it, but when I put it on there, obviously you don't want it hitting the casing. So I got to put a spacer in there to keep it away from hitting there. So I have to make that hole bigger. I mean, it, it sets in there, um, but it's getting ready. It's getting close. I got it mounted in there. This is being the, uh, the front half of it. Now I still have some work to do. Tomorrow I'll probably go up and get some uh, conduit and some galvanized piping. I have to put the, the bracket here on the back yet, then drill a hole in the PVC for my mounting to mount it up on the, uh, the pole. Um, this is my tail stock. This is the tail stock that we made for it. I don't have the fin on it obviously yet. Um, I got a piece of metal at work that I'm going to bring home. There's the uh, tail stock. I uh, just used a ring on there. Could have used a call. I used what I had. I mean, a coupling would have been close enough for that, what I needed it for. But um, I just drilled a real tight hole, and then I epoxied it with some epoxy, and then epoxied it in the, in the back there again. And then when I'm when I'm done, I'll just go ahead and put it together. And as you can see, it uh, fits together pretty well. They're nice tight goes all together and it'll come up and uh, let's see if we can get this camera up here a little bit higher okay so uh, so basically that's going to be the, the housing for it right there okay so so that that's the uh, that's the wind generator and again this was using uh, a general motors alternator um, this is the uh, this is just a pattern that I'm going to send to the uh, metal shop for them to uh, make for me for the uh, for my prop. You know, obviously my my props will have to hook up to these. The uh, the angle for this, I mean, it's kind of instead of sitting there trying to figure it out, it's uh <laughs> it's relatively uh, it was relatively easy. I felt kind of stupid once we figured it out. A circle is 360 degrees. You divide it by three, and you got 120 degrees. So to figure your angle out for these here is draw your first line to your center point, and then 120 degrees from this line to this line is your second line. So again, just remember, a perfect circle is 360 degrees. Divided by three is 120 degrees. So it doesn't matter whether you're measuring at this point here or if you're measuring from this point to this point. It's still 120 degrees. Now your distance obviously is going to be farther, but your degrees is 120 degrees. So that's how you figure out your three-bladed fans to, uh, to get them balanced. So this is the template that will go to my supply or to my, sh my uh, metal shop. We have a metal shop down the street that does all of my work. Uh, so he'll get this and um, fabricate that for me. The only thing I'll do here is I'll probably make these a little bit longer. And, I mean, he can continue that up a little bit longer. This is what I had. A scrap piece of uh, quarter inch plywood is what I had laying in the cabinet shop. So and it was enough to make my template. But um, let me go get my blades. They should be in here. I made my blades. Uh, I'll let you take a look at that. All right. Sorry about that. Okay, so here's my blades. These are the blades that we've got. What this is, is uh, it's the PVC that we used for the rest of it. It's just six inch PVC. It's a piece of six inch PVC. Okay, from this end, from from point to point, 
going across the top is six inches. Then I went 32 inches for the length. And from point to point here is two inches. Again, I'll go into more detail. I will make a, um, I'll make a video on how to make the blades. And then I just chamfered this end of the blade down. That's the leading end of the blade. If you don't, what's going to happen is it's going to sound like you got a damn uh, Apache helicopter flying around in your backyard. So just by cutting that down, just cuts the noise and the resistance back a little bit and just helps the efficiency rating of the uh, of the blade, the way the blades turn. So what will happen is these blades will get mounted on this plate like so. Obviously all three of them. And then uh, we'll take care of it and see how they work. So we'll see. We'll see how it works. But well, that's it for today. Just give you a progress report of where we're at. Um, so the next couple of uh, next couple of days will be, um, or next probably week or so, probably two weeks it'll take because I had to order. Remember, you don't use your original parts inside your alternators. That's a, that's a, everybody's thinking you just go out and throw this alternator from the car in there. Um, it's, it, it's not quite that easy. Um, you, you have to get a new uh, stator and a new rotor. So I, uh, I'll again put all that information when I when I make the video just on the completion of the uh, wind generator. I'll have all that information where you're going to get these parts from and and everything. So uh, that's it. Okay, um, we'll talk to you uh, on the next one. Thanks. So, uh, so basically, that's going to be the, the housing for it right there. We'll make sure we edit that out.